All right, so we're ready to start on our Android application called Photo App. So I'm going to take you through the design process of the layout. So I'm going to start it with the name Photo App. So I'm going to choose all the default settings and then finish. So the first thing I need to do is create a image uh, placeholder. So I'm going to search for Google Images and pick somebody that looks nice. So one of these icons along the way and I'm going to right click and save the image. I'm going to name mine as Photo Placeholder and save it in the downloads area. Next I'm going to go find this item in my finder and there's my downloaded app. I'm going to copy it and I want to bring it into Android Studio. So I open up the drawable folder and I do a right click and paste. So now it says which one do you want to put this into? I think I'm just going to put it in the drawable folder and it's going to be called Photo Placeholder which sounds good to me. So now we have a resource that we're going to use for our image. Let's go into the activity main area and talk about the design of our app. So we're, we're going to use a image view to start with. So let's delete the first guy. Image view comes in top center. And the reason why it, uh, I wanted to download this photo is because the first thing that the image view does is say, please select a photo for a placeholder. And so now I have one. So I'll click OK. Now it looks pretty big. It's pretty hard to get a hold of. So let's uh, change the width and the height to 100 dp for each of these and for right now that'll just make it easier for us to move it around. Okay so for the constraints we want it to stick to the top and we want it to stick to the right and then stick to the left. Okay so that's the position. Now for the width let's just change that to match the content let's say. So for the height, let's change it to maybe about 300 dp. That makes it large enough to see, but still lots of space for buttons and other controls. Okay, so that's my image view. Let's call him um, iView Photo. There we are. All right, so now I need to have a little text view. So this will give us a place to put messages. So we'll put him right below the image view. So for the constraints, I will grab the top and attach it to the bottom of the image view. I will pull it to the right and pull it to the left so it stays right in the center. Let's give it a ID of text view message. So now I'm going to create three buttons. So we'll put those below the text view area. Let's give these some IDs. So the first one is called button BTN, we'll call it list. And so this will show us the list of photos. I'll call the next one BTN load, so that way we can load photos. And the third one, let's call it BTN take, which is for taking photos. So now it looks like we need to put some text on the front of the buttons so we know what these are for. So we'll put them in list, and then we'll put load, and then take. All right, so now we have to make these arranged so that they don't um, fall off into the corner of the display. So we are going to put the constraints on here. Let's take the first constraint, the top, and let's attach it to the bottom of our text view for all three of these guys. Now for the left and right constraints, let's take list and attach him to the left side. The take button will attach to the right side. The load button will attach to each of these. I'm not sure that worked, so let's go check out the uh, controls here in the text views. So I'm looking at the uh, section called button list, and sure enough, the one constraint did not work, so I'm going to put in a new one here. So I want end to be attached to the start of the center button, which was ID button load. There we go. So for the take I, the guy, I want to do the same thing. So we're going to have a new constraint. 
So I have the constraint set for the start of the button to be to the end of load. Now the take seems a little odd. Why is he further down than the others? I have here the top constraint is to the top of button load. That's not what I meant, so let's delete that one. I want this to be the top to be the bottom of the text view. There, so now they're all listed in straight lines here. All right, so that's the first uh, phase of our application. We got the layout created, and we've got IDs set to all of our items. So in the next video, we'll start doing some programming.